Hi, my spooky friends, and how are you today? I hope you are doing absolutely fantastic. Welcome to, or welcome back, to the Crocheted Caution Tape Vlog. Well, I am recording this a little bit later than I had intended to, um, but I've been watching the updates for... Hurricane Milton. To those that were not able to evacuate, I hope you are safe. I don't know what I'm really going to make. I'm thinking I found this. Is white yarn. Can't really see it, but maybe there we go. Just white yarn, white fuzzy yarn, not thick or anything. But I need something that's white that I could put my stuff on to take pictures of because I really don't have anything like that at the moment. So thinking I'm just gonna make a little backdrop. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. It is October 9th. For you all, it should be October 10th. Um, still just getting used to my new schedule. It's still throwing me off a bit and I'm just... I'm very much scattered brain right now, so we're just gonna say whatever. We're just gonna have a little chat. Little little how's it going? Uh so uh how are you? Have you had your water today? I don't think I've had my water. I have had water today. Um I have been working in my uh, bullet journal a lot more lately and I am absolutely loving that uh, especially with my new position at work I have a lot of um, events that I have to track so that's exciting uh, and I'm I pre-made this whole month's layout in it, and I just, it's, I love it. I love it. I just need more. So, I've got ideas. But, I am wanting to track more on you guys. I want to be more consistent like I have been saying so I want to be able to do that more often I want to be able to track that what have I done so that we don't just repeat things yeah. um, if you all did miss the release last week Last week I did cover the second part of Barrels in the Body. The most horrific story I've ever researched. It is insane. From start to finish. So. We, we, we want to do something lighter. And I'm thinking I know what I want to go with for the next story. Uh, and it's definitely more towards the mysteries and spooky side than the true crime side, so we need that. <laughs> we need that little break. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and I did did cut my hair off quite a bit. It's quite shorter than I had anticipated it being, but I'm thinking I'm thinking it. It's a lot lighter. Yeah. 
Matt really kind of doing just mindless crocheting for me. Um, I'm still make, working on the chain. I don't know how big this is going to be. Kind of want something that I can have space on the ground, but then some space in the back where it's like draped over something. So it has this nice, lovely white backing well, for the images. I also, um, I did get the pictures taken of my headbands and the bandanas and all of that. And then I, um, I accidentally deleted them all. They all went away. They went to bye bye. I was devastated. But I got a surprise visit today from a uh, dear sweet Maisie. And she offered to retake the pictures for me. So I do got new pictures. I need, we need to edit them so I can post them on the shop. Very exciting. Um, so thanks, Maisy, And thank you, Gabrielle, for helping me the first round with the pictures. Um, I'm kind of, like, I know what I want to make next, but kind of don't have the supplies for it yet, so I'm waiting on a check whenever I don't have a ton of bills coming out to go out and get the materials for it, and my idea of it is just, mm. <sighs> I see so many people making them, and they're gorgeous. So, kind of want to try my spin on it. And no, I will not be going off of a pattern. I will just be going off of pictures I see and what I think should be done to get grab that. Not that it could be the exact same thing somebody else is doing. I don't know. I'm just, I wing things. It's what I do. Except for my uh, few things I have followed a pattern for. Like, I have a giant stuffed amigurumi of uh, Sam from Trick or Treat. And I love him. I love this doll so much. And... I bought that pattern off of the Twisted Hatter. Love her work. She's fantastic. If you haven't seen her work, you should look her up because oh, I love her. She's got that whole spooky vibe and that. I just... I think, like, I'm working on cleaning my house, too. And I think once I get to the area where Sam is currently living, I may pull him down and bring him in here and have him steam up against those pillows to say hi to you. Because he's just that kind of guy. He likes to say hi. I'm so excited because it is almost time to watch that movie and it is by far one of my favorites and it is one of those that we watch every year. The more, yes, we've been watching horror movies and all of that, but like a week or two prior to Halloween is when we actually start watching the Halloween Dean movies, you know, like the originals, like the OG Halloween one, two, and three. Yes, three. Yes, it doesn't involve Michael Myers, but it is still an amazing movie. Then, um, like the 2018. Uh, Halloween series where Lori's all grown up. I love those. All of that's like the week before Halloween. 
Love it. Speaking of horror movies, I have recently watched the new Nick Cage horror movie, which, by the way, if you haven't watched Nick Cage since he has entered his horror era, you should, because he's quickly turning into a horror icon, and it's, I'm here for it. But this movie was is uh, Long Legs. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, I like it. It's weird, but quite entertaining. It's one of those that we're definitely gonna have to watch it a few times for like all of the little things to click. I would say it's worth the watch. Yeah, I think I finally found the perf the, the angle of the second camera for me to work. And actually, you guys see what I'm doing instead of me having to move around a lot. So getting adjusted to this new schedule is it's, it's, it's taking longer than I expected. It's definitely taking longer than it did for me to get adjusted from going from days to nights, but for almost 12 years I've worked the same days regardless on if I was on days or nights. I've always worked Sunday through Wednesday and now I'm going to Thursday through Sunday. It's complete opposite and it's my days are getting mixed up. Like it took me quite a bit to realize that today's Wednesday. That could also be because I did go in for a few hours on Monday. Hmm. Don't know. Maybe. It's all just a whirl. A blur, if you will. I'm kind of measuring this based on the dresser that's in front of me. Like I said, I'm winging it. I don't know how big I want this to be. Go hubby's in the other room streaming Diablo. The new, um... Expansion just came out on Monday. Yeah, came out on Monday. And we've been waiting for this with the new class and everything. And this is what he originally made his Twitch streaming for was for this expansion, but he wanted to do a season prior to it. And so it's what he's been doing. He's got a nice little setup, so they, if you like Diablo and like hearing a random hippie talk about random hippie stuff along with talking about Diablo, and you like Diablo, you should go check out Mouse13 on Twitch. It's quite entertaining. So.
Yeah, I also think I'm out of cotton. So I also can't make any more bags just yet. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be making more flies. I'm gonna be making more um, scrunchies. That's what I want to make that I still need to go out and get the supplies for. But definitely, I have a couple new bags that I need to take pictures of and add them to the shop because they're different colors than what is already there. So, trying to make more of a variety of the, the things that I do offer. So, So I am trying, I, I used to love reading. I would read all the time, all the time, that's what, what I did, I always read. And I really miss it, I miss reading all the time. Like I've got Audible and I've been listening to some stories on there, but I don't know miss actually reading it and like I've seen others have a set where they have a book in front of them that's the pages are like held open for them like with a clip or something and then they can read while they're crocheting I, I would like to try that I'd like to give that a shot I think I could do that not fast. <laughs> I think I could do that. Just picking a book. Ah. I'm weird about books. I love them. So you don't have any suggestions for not Super, super fantasy, but fantasy at the same time. And, and uh, yeah, I guess dark romance and that kind of thing. But if you have any, any ideas, any re book recommendations, please let me know because, yeah. I would really love to get it, to start reading a lot again. I think I just finished listening to, um, the Court of Mist and Fury, and yeah, that is, I liked it a lot more than I liked the first book. Part of me wants to go back and start reading some more books by V.C. Andrews again, because I used to read her quite a bit growing and yes she's not for children and um I don't know I want to find my spark I think I just thought of it, but I don't remember 
Look at me, mother. I don't know. I think we... Maybe just a little bit more. I have started watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer and I haven't watched it as much, but my attention span has been very, very little lately and I don't. But I kind of want to restart watching Doctor Who too, but that's more of a winter thing. I don't ask me why because I don't know I just feel like snuggling up to watch Doctor Who is a good winter vibe I'm also kind of crazy so you know that's mm. wait that in was the <laughs> I too. This is going to be a short video, but I did just want to check in with you guys, make sure that you all are doing okay, that you guys are safe, and again, to those that were not able to evacuate during this storm, I hope you are safe, I hope you are protected. Until next time, my spookies, be good to yourself, be good to others, treat yourself with kindness, give yourself grace, and like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I will be seeing you guys later. 
Bye-bye.